Pirates play host to the Columbia Lions, who come in at three and three. Hello, everyone. Rich Ackerman along with Jim Spinarkel. And Jim, a good matchup between two local teams right. and for the Big East defending champ, being in Seton Hall Pirates. They're back home briefly after a tough week on the road last week. Yeah, it was a tough week. And coming off the loss to Stanford down there in Florida, not a terrific showing by the Pirates, but they have to bounce back and get their three-point shooting back also, Rich, which was not good in the last game in particular. But when you look at their back court, you look at Kadeem Carrington. He's the guy who makes them go both at the defensive end and the offensive end. A guy who can stroke the ball from long range, makes things happen. I think you got to make sure that the Pirates standpoint, they get him more involved too, making good decisions and passing the basketball. Let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Keith Grand Cherokee and a little change for the Seton Hall Pirates as Miles Powell will get the start alongside Kadeem Carrington in the backcourt as Madison Jones, who had been the previous starter, banged up a little with a hyperextended knee, will play but won't start. Ishmael Sonogo, who had missed the previous two games for the shoulder injury, he is back in the starting lineup as well for Kevin Willard, Seton Hall Pirates who come in at 4-2 and two following a loss to Stanford on Sunday. Seton Hall dressed in the home white, Columbia in the Columbia blue as we're set to get underway and the tip controlled by the Columbia Lions to come in at 3-3 three and three after a loss to Hartford on Tuesday. Our officials tonight, Ed Corbett, Matt Potter, and Evan Burrows. Here's Luke Petrosic with a nice pass attempt for Hickman that was intercepted by St. Paul. Desi Rodriguez at Sonogo as they work it around. Kadeen Carrington, the leading scorer for the Pirates in second in the Big East at nearly 22 a game so far. Uh, Rich, a Columbia team that generally plays man-to-man, -man, but you'll notice right now it's a 2-3 zone. It's a great place to go into the middle of the floor. And they're going to try to collapse on the big guys, I'm sure. Down to five on the shot clock. Rodriguez forces one off the mark and Petrosic comes down with the rebound. A pretty good start there defensively. From long range and that is good from Lucas Meisner who opens the scoring for the Lions. He's been playing well. Lucas has been playing well. Three home games he played well and averaged 10 points a game. Averaging at about seven right now. We'll take a look at this. Rich, you just got to make sure that Seton Hall is going to try to put somebody at the free throw line. Carrington finds Delgado and lays it off the glass. Nicely done by Michael Delgado off the lead from Carrington. And we'll watch Columbia try to get into what they refer to almost as a Princeton offense. A lot of cutting, a lot of backdoor screens. The first set of the game, they went base long, baseline. There's another backdoor from the wing. So your backdoor cuts can come from just about anywhere on the floor if you run this offense efficiently. Luke Petrosic flips or wanted to go to Nate Hickman, and Petrosic was fouled on the play. Yeah, Rich, interesting enough with a, a open floor like this and, and what's referred to as that Princeton offense, the open cutting, Kevin Willard knows that he has to be ready, his team has to be ready to defend. You think of baseline cuts, backdoor, and wing cuts, but they will cut from the top of the key area and cut off the center to make things happen also. Jake Killingsworth bottled up by Sonogo looking for an outlet. And that one deflected out of bounds. It'll stay Columbia basketball as Miles Powell got a hand on it. And there's a look at Jim Engels in his first season now at Columbia. Former assistant coach for several years under Joe Jones before taking over NJIT, which had lost 31 straight when he got there. He had one win his first year, but by 2012-13 had led them to the Great West regular season title. What a great job he did there. Here's Mike Smith, foul line jumper off the mark, the rebound by Delgado. And one of the things with the young point guard and Smith, decisions are so important in terms of making sure that you get a shot in the rhythm, and if not, get your guys set up early. Rodriguez puts it on the floor. Skip pass for Carrington. Hop step into the lane, and in and out, but there is Delgado for the foot foul. a double-double machine, isn't he? Stays on the offensive glass all the time. Averaging a double-double on the year, including 10 rebounds a game, leading the Big East. 4-3, Seton Hall in front early. Two and a half minutes gone by. Petrosic puts it on the floor, and he draws the foul from Sonogo. Gets called for the block. Yep, looks like a good call, too. No establishment of the footwork. And here's that drive. You can drive against zones. A lot of people think you just have to pass it, but once the zone 
man comes out and defends you out the wing, that becomes a man-to-man -man offensive opportunity, and you can go by people. They get it into Petrosic. Here's Smith over Carrington. Long two, in and out, and two will... Seton Hall Pirates come up with it. Eventually, Sonoma grabs it. Yeah, better rhythm on that jumper just then, too. Sonogo, who had missed the last two games with a shoulder injury, back at 100% and back in the starting lineup tonight. Yeah, this is more like a matchup zone right now rather than the 2 3. Miles Powell, the freshman shooter, just off the mark. And the rebound for Petrosic. And here comes Columbia pushing the tempo. Hickman thought about the three. Cut off baseline. The two pointer is no good. And a slow start for Columbia from the field. Yeah, but I like the way they push the basketball up the floor just then. The Lions one of four, and they have another opportunity after the steal by Lucas Meisner. Carrington got a hand on it, and now the steal. Carrington exploding to the basket. Sonogo with the follow, no good. 0 for 2 on that trip for the Pirates. One of the things, and we talked about Carrington briefly on the open, the ability to play defense. Long arms, really times the, the swat on the dribble very, very nicely. Six foot four junior out of Bishop Lachlan in Brooklyn has nearly stolen but recovered by Columbia and Petrosic stepped on the baseline. And third turnover early going for Seton for the Columbia as the Pirates of Seton Hall lead by one early, four to three. It's the live Ultimate Fighter finale on FS1. Demetrius Johnson puts his belt on the line against Ultimate Fighter winner Tim Elliott. Plus, coaches Benavides and Cejudo battle it out. The Ultimate Fighter finale, Saturday at 7 Eastern on FS1. Whether you're wearing layers, beads, stripes, or cheese, if you bleed blue, black and yellow, purple, or various shades of red, this is your beer. I really did save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with GEICO. I should take a closer look at GEICO. GEICO has a long history of great savings and great service. Over 75 years. Wait, 75 years? That is great. Speaking of great, check out these hot riffs. You like Smash Mouth? Uh, yeah, I have an early day tomorrow, so... Wait, almost there. Good night, Bruce. I gotta tune the A. Me, 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 me. Take a closer look at GEICO. Great savings and a whole lot more. The real inventor of the Reuben sandwich may be debatable, but its great taste is not. At Subway, this authentic classic is stacked with lean corned beef, Bavarian-style sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and Thousand Island dressing on new freshly baked rye bread. Only at Subway. As one of America's premier Catholic universities, Seton Hall is a place where leaders learn to excel both in and out of the classroom, to explore new frontiers, to serve those in need, to succeed as champions, to achieve their dreams. Seton Hall University, where leaders learn. FS1 proudly presents a college basketball event like no other. Cal, Princeton, Seton Hall, Hawaii, in the Pearl Harbor Invitational, Tuesday at 6.30 Eastern on FS1. Big East College Hoops on FS1 is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. A crystal clear view, looking out into Newark, New Jersey from inside the Prudential Center, where tonight... Seat Hall Pirates now to a 4-3 start over the Lions of Columbia. As we mentioned, a slight change in the starting lineup as Madison Jones, who had been the starting point guard, did not get the start tonight, but now in the game for the Pirates because of a height they're extended knee. And Kevin Wooler told us, Jim, that they're going to take it slowly with him and just be careful. Yep, keep monitoring it. He doesn't want any injury to compound itself. And then you have a guy out who's out for six weeks or so. Rodriguez backs his way in and hits. Good isolation, good call from Kevin Willard. Get a guy who can handle the basketball lefty down low, get him on the blocks against somebody who's a little bit weaker and smaller and take advantage of it. After a three-pointer by Columbia to open the scoring, the Pirates have come back with six straight and have the three-point lead. Here's Hickman, and a call for the offensive foul. Yeah, you can see that one coming from this corner just then. A couple of extra dribbles. Defensively, it's an easy one to pick up. 
a good call from Eddie Corbett along the baseline. A little out of control for Hickman that trip. His first, the team's fourth foul in the early going, and we're not even five minutes in. From the corner, and hitting is Miles Powell, the freshman who is so impressive against Iowa. Had his best game yet with 26 points, but has struggled with an ankle injury since. He's at 36 percent from the three-point strike, too, Rich. That's a big plus for Kevin Willard's team to open up the floor. Petrosic off the mark and skying for the rebound was Rodriguez. Here's Delgado in the post. Picks it out for Rodriguez from three. And he hits. And a big start for Desi Rodriguez. He had been two for his previous 12 from long range. Yeah, all of a sudden, Seton Hall has re reacted to this matchup defense. And they're running their sets. They're running some man to man offense against it also. Meisner from three off the mark, but there's Smith for the rebound. Smith goes back up, and the short jumper is good, ending the 12 0 run by Seton Hall. Yeah, I'm sure Kevin Willard doesn't want to see the point guard. Good effort, though. Nice Smith to get in that glass, stick around. A lot of times you see the point guards drift back defensively to balance on the floor. Delgado had trouble handling that one. He's seeing a lot of double teams. Powell Delgado. finds Sonogo. Rodriguez. Oh, Rodriguez with a clear path and stuffs it home. They had a clear path because they're jumping him on the right side. They got to shy and force him to his right more than let him go to his left. The lefty player with some power through the lane. Rodriguez already with seven. That's half his season average this far. Smith from three knocks it down. So five consecutive points for Mike Smith. He's keeping the Lions in it early on. Good work by Adlish too, just then setting him up. A little action out front. Powell quick release and he hits. Seton Hall shooting very well from three point range so far. Three of five and they lead by nine. But they didn't shoot well the last time out. They were two of 17 from three. And so now finding their stroke on their home floor. A little home cooking before you say it. <laughs> Petrosic <laughs> from East Northport, New York. A hometown kid. Coming off 27 against Hofstra. Still will hang around the glass, too, where he averages eight. Easy catch here, though, he's in trouble. Delgado off the mark, and Nate Hickman with the rebound. That ended a string of five consecutive field goals made by Seton Hall. Hickman, his pass stolen by Rodriguez. Fifth turnover so far for Columbia. Rodriguez takes it himself. And scored, and the foul. Well, Desi Rodriguez off to quite a start with nine in the early going for Seton Hall. One of the things he recognizes right now is that backpedaling defensively as Smith never really establishes himself. He's always sliding. Another good call from the officials there. Ed Corbett, part of the crew once again tonight. Evan Burrows and Matt Potter. As Desi Rodriguez, as we mentioned, off to a terrific start. At the line, shooting just 65% on the season, and he knocks it down. So he's already in double figures for Seton Hall with half their points so far. Smith on the pull-up. Wow, pretty. Going to his left, getting Jones to slide away, thinking he's going to go to the basket with that. He just stops very quickly and explodes into his jumper. Freshman from Burridge, Illinois. Jim Engel said still learning his role on this team. He was a little too deferential, and he has taken control early for Columbia. Rodriguez again, high arcing three, no good. But the long rebound finds its way to Desi Rodriguez. Michael Enzi, his pass off the mark for Rashid Anthony, and it'll go the other way. Second turnover for Seton Hall. A nice set there defensively for Hunter, too, defensively for Columbia with that quick step in at the very end of that play to save a bucket. Tempo's been pretty good so far. Both teams going up and down as we're a little more than eight minutes in with Seton Hall up by seven, 20 to 13. If they continue to run their sets. Let's see how long it takes them. Smith had trouble holding that one, but gets it back. Oh. Scored and the foul. So Mike Smith off to quite a start. No go to the free throw line. Try to convert to the three-point play when we come back.
And here we go, a little bit of passing down low, keep it hopping. Pretty good work there, and then what do you do? You get it to the perimeter, and then you finish it off. Rodriguez with a big flush. He's all up five. I use what's already inside me to reach my goals. So I liked when my doctor told me that I may reach my blood sugar and A1C goals by activating what's within me. With once weekly Trulicity. Trulicity is not insulin. It helps activate my body to do what it's supposed to do, release its own insulin. Trulicity responds when my blood sugar rises. I take it once a week and it works 24 seven. It comes in an easy to use pen and I may even lose a little weight. Trulicity is a once weekly injectable prescription medicine to improve blood sugar in adults with type two diabetes. It should be used along with diet and exercise. Trulicity is not recommended as the first medicine to treat diabetes and should not be used by people with severe stomach or intestinal problems or people with type one diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Trulicity is not insulin and has not been studied with long acting insulin. Do not take Trulicity if you or anyone in your family has had medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type two, or if you are allergic to Trulicity or its ingredients. Stop using Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of an allergic reaction, such as itching, rash, or difficulty breathing. If you have signs of pancreatitis, such as severe stomach pain that will not go away and may move to your back with or without vomiting, or if you have symptoms of thyroid cancer, which may include a lump or swelling in your neck, hoarseness, trouble swallowing, or shortness of breath. Medicines like Trulicity may cause stomach problems which could be severe. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and any medicines you take. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase your risk for low blood sugar. Common side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, decreased appetite, and indigestion. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may cause kidney failure. With Trulicity, I click to activate what's within me. If you want help improving your A1C and blood sugar numbers with a non-insulin option, click to activate your within. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. Pac-12 championship on the line. That's how you make an entrance. Big time play. Unbelievable. This is college football on Fox. Seaton Hall by five early on as the Pirates back home after playing in the Advocare Invitational in Orlando. And if you're going to be in Orlando, you've got to go to Disney World as Dalton Sofer showing the moves to the Incredibles. And this is Splash Mountain, courtesy of the GoPro from Madison Jones. Uh, I've been there. It's a great ride. And there's a soaking. <laughs> Has to come sooner or later. But when you're on that ride, you're waiting for it. You're loving life. For the Pirates, who return home at four and two, our videographer Madison Jones doing a nice job. And speaking of nice jobs, how about Mike Smith early on with eight points so far and make it nine, matching his season average so far as he departs now. And C.J. Davis, another local product from Archbishop Malloy High School in Queens, comes in. Columbia has started to heat up on its last few trips. Five consecutive baskets. Enzi had that pass knocked away and stolen by the Lions. Yeah, you saw that high screen at the, the elbow right where the, the free throw line is. Starting to get into an offensive set man-to-man, -man, and they're playing a matchup zone, so they're pretty good, Columbia, in terms of helping one another behind. Adlash taking Singh. He was bumped. And we'll go to the line. Speaking when we were speaking with Jim Ingles before the game, he mentioned about that zone. Really just put it in just recently. He made it sound like it was just yesterday, but I don't <laughs> believe coach speak all the time like that. But he's not familiar with his team. And so far, I think they've been executing it very well. Quentin Adlish hits the first. Six foot sophomore from Arroyo Grande, California. Averaging over three assists a game coming off the bench so far for this Columbia team. And so far, knocks down both off to a good start. And Columbia with a 7 0 run to pivot to two. The Lions open with the three and then watch Seton Hall run off 12 straight. Here's Veer Singh way off, but right there underneath. And a held ball called as Rashid Anthony gets tied up. And it'll stay Seton Hall basketball. Well, those shots, Rich, that when they don't hit the rim, you always have an advantage if you're an offensive player because defensively you're taught to find your man, count to one or two, then 
lock him out, and then go for the basketball. By that time, the ball's down on the count of one, so you never really react well on the defensive end. Here's Sonogo, picks it out for Powell. Working on Adlish. Carrington hoists the three, and off the back end of the rim, pulled down by Rodney Hunter, number four. Look at those blue shirts, though. Three of them in the triangle defensively on the rebounding side. Connor Voss, the seven-footer. Number 52 just checks in for Columbia. That's one of the things about Columbia. They're, they're taller than I expect. You know, when you look at their roster and you look at the size of them, some of these guys are pretty tall. Adlich from way out, tapped out by McCumber, but into the hands of Sonogo. Here's Carrington into the lane, hangs and hits. Right, one on two, too. But keep in mind that big tip out just then acted as if it was an outlet pass to Carrington. He was able to get that leaning towards half court. And now he goes one on two, and both Columbia players decide they're going to stay in front of him to a degree. And then they split on him and allow him to go right through the middle. And he'll go to the line to try to convert the three point play. Lucas Meisner, Luke Petrosic back in for Columbia. As Kadeem Carrington trying to convert on the free throw and a little too much on it. Pulled down by Petrosic. Under 60% from the free throw line for him, about 58% coming in. Something that he should be able to improve, improve the way he can shoot from the outside. Here's Petrosic from the foul line. Speaking of which, <laughs> he's got a nice stroke, doesn't he? Absolutely. The senior from East Northport, six foot ten. It's pretty valuable when you get a guy that big who can step out and hit that outside shot like that. And it opens it up a bit. Here's that high post look. Six of the last seven for Columbia. To pull within two. Here's Rodriguez in the paint. The turnaround short. Delgado the follow and hits. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Delgado's very, very good on the offensive glass. And I'm looking at Jim Engels over there shaking his head a little bit. When that ball is below the rim, it's coming off the floor. That's a time when the small guys have to pick that up and not let the best rebounder pretty much in this league go, go after it and get it. Been a quiet start for Hickman. He's off the mark, tapped out, and Carrington runs it down. Hickman came in averaging 19 points a game. Deflected out of bounds. It'll stay. Seton Hall basketball. Hickman with 20 in three of his last four. He had 30 a week ago against Army. That was Ivy League Player of the Week. Yeah, an overtime winner, too, against uh, Colgate, didn't he, recently? Yes, he did. Jake Killingsworth back into the game for Columbia, number 20. As Carrington looking to get it in, finally does so. Yeah, this is man-to-man -man defense right now, right after the inbounds. Nice move by Carrington on the crossover. And the pull-up over Smith is good. And he takes advantage of it. Carrington, a left-handed shooter we saw, but he goes to his right pretty well. Here's Killingsworth at the other end. One and done is three white shirts underneath. They do push it, though. They take the look for their first shot. That's a good one. Rodriguez again from three. Too much on that one. And Meisner with the rebound. So that missed so badly that Meisner had a real good read on it. Hickman attempts the three. That's short. Looks like a pass for Delgado almost. Yeah, I'm not sure. Whether Powell got a fingertip on that, it didn't look like it. Powell from Watch out. way out. Whew. Be and careful. A good shooting display early. The team is just hoisting him up. The last couple of trips, and now Mike Smith slows it down. Unfortunately, that's uh, thick glass up there tonight. <laughs> a couple of these shots. Spinarco specials. There you go. A steal by Rodriguez again. You finally got your first rip in on me tonight. <laughs> hey, you set me up very nicely. It was an alley-oop there. Got to take advantage of those. Bang! <laughs> I'll give you sound effects on some of these shots. <laughs> there's, a, there's a side job in that for you, Jimmy. <laughs> Spinarco's wall of sound. Eight minutes left first half. Seton Hall has led almost throughout. Here's Smith hanging. Oh, man. And getting that one to fall. You know, the shot he made before the last break, he got it up on the rim. I didn't think that one before was going to go in. I didn't think he was going to get that to the rim. Boy, he's uncanny with the with the way he can get to the kind of his spot on the floor, but squeeze out the shots. He's hit this game yet. As I mentioned, average is just over nine points a game. It's 12 here so far in the early part of the first half. It's a long goal, but he was fouled by Killingsworth. Yep, that's a good call. And Kevin Willard had to have a little moment of anxiety with Sonogo coming off the shoulder injury. And there is a This is a very well, as you mentioned, Rich, 
Smith has been playing well. And now watch how he squeezes this shot up. Boy, he's in traffic. He's getting Carrington gloving over him. Finally gets it to squeeze in. Now get 50% off all Domino's pizzas when you order online. 50% off sausage pizzas, handmade pan pizzas, even barbecue banana pepper pizzas. If you're into that, for a limited time only, get 50% off the menu price of 34 million pizza combinations at Domino's.com. I created Open Hearts to be a universal symbol of giving and receiving love, even in the most difficult of times. And my Open Hearts collection at K Jewelers is the perfect gift for the person in your life with an open heart. Every kiss begins with K. I'm Thomas, and I quit smoking with Chantix. I finally broke out of my man shell, went to the doctor, told him I needed help quitting smoking. He prescribed Chantix, and it worked. Along with support, Chantix Veronaclin is proven to help people quit smoking. Chantix really reduced my urge to smoke. Some people had changes in behavior, thinking or mood, hostility, agitation, depressed mood, and suicidal thoughts or actions while taking or after stopping Chantix. Some reported seizures or sleepwalking with Chantix. If you have any of these, stop Chantix and call your doctor right away. Tell your doctor about any history of mental health problems, which could get worse, or of seizures. Don't take Chantix if you've had a serious allergic or skin reaction to it. If you have these, stop Chantix and call your doctor right away, as some can be life-threatening. Tell your doctor if you have harder blood vessel problems or develop new or worse symptoms. Get medical help right away if you have symptoms of a heart attack or stroke. Decrease alcohol use while taking Chantix. Use caution driving or operating machinery. Most common side effect is nausea. Quitting changed my life. Ask your doctor if Chantix is right for you. This piece is so you. I saw it and I was just like, oh, I have to have it. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. This piece is so you. I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. From renter's insurance to rewards credit cards, State Farm is here to help life go right. Your can't stink in playoffs. Your can't stink in division. Nobody catches ball. Your can't stink in Houston. Don't jinx it. Your can is Houston. Seven and a half minutes left in the first half in the defending Big East champion Seton Hall Pirates with a four-point lead thanks to the help of Desi Rodriguez, who's in double figures already, Jim. Well, very aggressive to start things off. Stroking the ball from the outside. Here's that two-handed finish. And one of the things coming through in traffic. That Columbia has not recognized earlier early enough with Rodriguez as he goes to his left because he's a lefty. So jump him on the left side, force him a little bit to the right, make him use that weak hand. Not to say that he can't do it, but most guys are less effective compared to their strong hand. Four for his first eight from the field, hit his first three-pointer, but has then missed his next three as Ishmael Sinogo back in the lineup. He'll attempt just his second free throw of the season. He's missed his previous first. He hits that one, so I don't think he's already at 50%. Pretty big jump. <laughs> I didn't go to Columbia, but my math is okay, I think. <laughs> Here's Sonogo. Where did I go to see Hall? Two for two. What does that make it right there? He's two for three. He's up to 67%. Nice. Or if you, you want to be to round 67. It up. Exactly. Got to be a little positive. I'm, I'm a glass half full type of guy, Jim. Okay. I can also make some other comments on what kind of guy you are, but we'll leave that for another, <laughs> another show. Michael Enzi in for Seton Hall. Good, strong man-to-man -man effort here. Attacking the perimeter. Watch for a backdoor cut. There you go. And there's Meisner, and he lays it in with the left hand. Nicely done by Lucas Meisner, who has five. And Columbia down by four. Yeah, the read on that basically, Rich, is when you drop it into the post, you can kind of feel and watch your defender. If he looks towards the ball, a terrific time to go towards the basket and look for a backdoor cut. And Columbia back in the zone. Here's Jones, puts it on the floor. Rodriguez goes to the left. Here's Jones the fall away. Nicely done by Madison Jones. And once again, it's Rodriguez. It's a simple thing, but going to the left with his power hand, a stronger pass for the setup. First basket of the night for Madison Jones off the back door. Here's Smith off the nice feed from Petrosic. One of the things Seton Hall was concerned about is just how frequently and how often, even when they have a broken play, how quickly Columbia gets right back into their offense and runs it. Boy, Mike Smith, 6 of 8 from the field so far, 14 points. Cross-court pass, Carrington takes off. He leaves for Delgado, and a little too much on that one, but Rodriguez with the rebound. 
You wouldn't expect it, but Rodriguez averaging nearly eight rebounds a game, third in the Big East, and there is Delgado down low. He has eight, and the lead back up to six for Seton Hall. And that's off a uh, second chance opportunity, too, for Seton Hall. Petrosic, that one off the mark, and pulled down by Carrington. One of the things Columbia has settled down a bit. They turned the ball over three times in about the first three and a half minutes and have controlled it a little bit better. Oh, Delgado just too strong down low for Petrosic. You know, and, and part of that, too, is you have to do the work before you catch the basketball. That's what Delgado has gotten better at in terms of establishing himself and working before the ball gets tossed his way. Well, he is so tough down low. Smith. Taking Carrington, met by Delgado. Petrosic from three does not get the roll and knocked out of bounds by Carrington. So another shot for Columbia down by eight with just over five minutes left in this first half. So look at Delgado. You can see him doing the work beforehand. Gets the big guy on his back, and so when he catches it, there's no factor at all defensively. He just lays it right in. Quick release by Meisner from three, and he knocks it down. Lucas Meisner with eight. You know, they understand their offense so well. They understand where the shots are coming from. 40% from the three-point stripe early on, four of ten for Columbia. Powell with Columbia in his zone. He could be the zone buster. Nice move down low by Enzi. He couldn't finish. Delgado does, and he'll go to the line. Six of nine. And he just knows how to position himself on the offensive glass. There he stumbles back a little bit, but strong enough to lift the ball rather than when his body's going away, you have to lift that ball a little bit higher. But boy, he's just a real tough, tough guy to keep off the offensive glass. Six rebounds. He has scored their last six points, trying to make it seven. And he gets the roll. 37-29, Seton Hall, as Rashid Anthony spells Delgado, who's done a lot of work down low so far tonight. Columbia should use the clock now until they get a good look. Meisner almost lost that one. The backdoor pass to Killingsworth, and Anthony turned that one away. But got a piece of Killingsworth. He was just a fraction late getting to that position to get that block. Killingsworth with that backdoor cut. Here it comes again, and it's a good call. He gets ball up high, but he hits him across the body, so officials right on it so far tonight. The first on Anthony. Killingsworth, two of two from the line so far, and remains perfect at three and three. Delgado back in after a quick respite on the bench. Meisner goes out, replaced by number 32, Chris McCumber. So a lot of substitutions for both teams early on as Killingsworth knocks down both. And it's back to a six-point lead for Seton Hall. A good first half so far. Uh, Seton Hall has been in front for the most part, but Columbia very competitive thus far. Powell trying to shake Smith using the screen. And finding Delgado. And Delgado called for the travel. Well, I didn't hear the whistle at first, but I was watching across. And Jim Engels was right in my line of vision, <laughs> giving us the uh, traveling signal. <laughs> and Kevin Willen will have to work that hard down the other end now to get a call. So Jim Engels, who said one of the reasons he liked the Columbia job, he says, everybody thinks I'm smarter than I am. <laughs> right there, putting his legal services to work. <laughs> a good lawyer as well as a good coach. There you go. Very good sense of humor Jim Engels has. And I guess when you take over a school that's lost 31 straight, you have to have that. Yeah, they saw that one coming. Good jump across there. Rodriguez. Carrington trying to use the screen. Powell. Cross court Carrington. Quick release and hits the three. Uh, they caught Columbia cheating that time. Hunter was trying to help out on that high screen that you mentioned. 
And that's a good time to go over the top and away from the screen. Carrington with seven in the lead, the largest of this first half for Seton Hall at nine. Here's Jeff Kobe, the spin move, and he's fall for the travel. Yep, out of control, the balance starts to follow and ends up turning it over. Eighth turnover for Columbia. So a good step into passing lane. Seton Hall looks to push it up the floor. They go over the top. What does Carrington do? He just steps right into it in rhythm to put him up nine. Mommy, your wish came true. If you're going to wish, wish big at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Get up to $2,500 customer cash on select 2016 and 2017 models for these terms. See your Lexus dealer. We've traced his bloodline back 500 years. His name's Callum. What do you want from me? Your past. Rather men are limited by law. Everything's permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Assassin's Creed at PG-13. Being in love is an amazing thing. Being in love with your best friend is everything. Ever us. One diamond for your best friend, one for your true love. For the one woman who's both. Ever us. Available at Kay, Jared, and Zales. There are those who love Sriracha and those who haven't tried it. And for a limited time, Wendy's Bacon Sriracha Fries are the perfect introduction. Sriracha infused aioli and Applewood smoked bacon, all for $1.99. And at Wendy's, there's more Sriracha to come. Whether you're wearing layers, beads, stripes, or cheese, if you bleed blue, black and yellow, purple, or various shades of red, this is your beer. Two pizzas and sticks, throw a cookie in the mix. Every year I need my triple treat fix. So, wait, is that a hot oven? I didn't get to sing about the chance to win an Xbox One S. The triple treat box. Because no one on Pizza's the hut. These two could be a problem. They're going down. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. These two could be a problem. They're going oh. down. Talk to an agent for help combining your home and auto into a plan that's right for you. Here to help life go right. State Farm. Tomorrow night, it's the Pac-12 championship is number four. Washington looks to secure a playoff berth with a win over Colorado. Then Saturday night, it's the Big Ten championship as Wisconsin battles Penn State for another potential playoff spot. The two biggest championship games in college football tomorrow night and Saturday night on Fox. Back-to-back -back games should be good ones. We have a good one here so far with 3.15 left in the first half. Jim and Seton Hall up by nine. Yeah, Seton Hall has mixed it up, too, a little bit with their inside game and their outside game against what appears to be sometimes a man-to-man, -man, but it's a matchup zone that Columbia has been throwing their way. And by matchup, I basically just mean, you know, when a guy has the ball in your area, you're playing a man-to-man. -man. When he gets rid of it, you obviously slide back into zone to help your teammates out. Both teams shooting the ball well. Seton Hall 16 of 31 as the high percentage shot goes down for Delgado, who has been marvelous in this first half now with 13. Well, once again, doing the work before the catch, and if they continue to allow him to have the catch three feet from the basket, difficult to stop him at all. Petrosic hands to Adlish, three-pointer is good. And Columbia 12 of 23 from the field in this first half. Down by eight. Counting report on Adlish is he'll shoot it from anywhere. And he lets it go. Uh, he had a deep three on that one. Yep, he sure did. Knocked it down to keep the lines within eight. And that one deflected off, off of Petrosic. So Seton Hall will retain possession. Delgado once again, you keep catching the basketball down low. Now he's going to get his share of them in the offensive class. So that's why you have to keep the ball out of his hand. Because he'll put up big numbers. Just such a great nose for the ball. And came in and day one was a great rebounder in this conference. And as Carrington lets go, to make that Rodriguez lets go the three. And it hits off the top of the backboard, so it'll go the other way. It's amazing. He is just a bull down low, Delgado. A nice cut. That's a tough angle though to make the pass. Rodriguez comes up with the steal, and here comes Seton Hall up eight. Rodriguez quick step, kicks it out, and Powell all alone from three and knocks it down. He's going down. Work on the turnover by 
Seton Hall to push it and and really get you know player friendly. Look for one another, make it happen, make the extra pass to somebody who's open, and you'll get a good shot. That was a good example of that. Powell three for five from three point range after going 0 for six in his previous game. He's really rounded back into form after that ankle injury. Seton Hall coming out far on the floor on the perimeter on those high screens. Adlish the turnaround over Sonogo. And just did get it off before the shot clock expired, but to no avail. Smith out on Carrington. Good throw by Powell. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. That was a nice fill by Powell coming from the right wing to the top of the key area. And he just hopped just a little bit. Fifth Seton Hall turnover of this first half as Madison Jones checks back in for Carrington. He goes to the bench with seven points thus far on three of six from the field. Clinton Adlish comes out for Columbia. Nate Hickman back in, number 22. Just over a minute left in this first half. And Columbia trying to get a little offense with Hickman, popping him back on the floor, see if they can free him up for a shot. Nice pass, and he dumps it off for Meisner, but he had trouble handling it. Columbia resets just 12 on the shot clock. And watch how fast they get back into their set screening ball movement Hickman taking Rodriguez and dumps it off for Meisner for three and he hits again Yeah, see Hickman was a factor even though he didn't score. It's a nice substitution by Jim Engels just then get him on the floor Get some confidence out of him even though he didn't score. He made two passing plays One that ends up with an assist for him. Meisner with 11 and he's three of four from three-point range Good recognition of the shooters to set Jones, the pull-up from inside the arc is good. And they contended with Powell in that one dribble pull-up jumper, so effective that's really a, a, a move in college basketball and in the pro level that really doesn't get used as much as I think it should. Jim Engels calls for time for one final play for Columbia with the Lions trailing seat ball by 10. Give your home the gift of huge holiday deals right now at Lowe's. Like 25% off all in-stock Christmas tree ornaments. Plus get 15% off select artificial Christmas specialty trees and wreaths. Save big on everything you need to make your home happy right now at Lowe's. There are those who love sriracha and those who haven't tried it. And for a limited time, Wendy's Bacon Sriracha Fries are the perfect introduction. Sriracha infused aioli and Applewood smoked bacon, all for $1.99. And at Wendy's, there's more sriracha to come. Seventeen seven left Kevin Willard with his final defensive orders for his team after what has been a very good first half for the Pirates And it goes to Hickman Smith taking his time Jones comes out the challenge and he fouls Smith yeah, Seton Hall had fouls to give though Stay tuned for the Jeep Grand Cherokee Halftime Report. We'll join Mike Hill and Jim Jackson in the studio, and they'll have a preview of some of the most important Big East games in the month of December. That's coming up in less than seven seconds. Here's Hickman down to three. Hickman takes off, gets it off, but no good as the first half comes to an end. Angel Delgado with a strong first half for Seton Hall with 15 points and seven rebounds as the Pirates with a 10-point lead over Columbia. After a break, it's the Jeep Grand Cherokee Halftime Report. Mike Hill and Jim Jackson are in the studio with a look at what's ahead in December for Big East basketball right now. The defending champs up by 10 at the half. Hi, I'm Paul. I used to be with Verizon, but I switched to Sprint. Me too. And me. When will you? Can you hear that? Don't let a 1% difference cost or better from the field so far. Yeah, I think the couple of things that jump off that stat sheet for me are the 22 points in the paint, the third line down for St. Paul, and points off the turnovers in 16. That's a nice number. And I thought, you know, as the half went on, the beginning of the game, Columbia had those three early turn uh, turnovers, cut back on it a little bit, but then the last three or four minutes of the half, they had some problems. So they added up to a big nine and uh, with five for St. Paul. That's a pretty good number coming off 23 turnovers their last game out. And the Pirates with the ball and a 10-point lead to start the second half. And here's Miles Powell, who got the start tonight. Carrington, after 
a good start, trying to get it going early, but comes up short on that attempt. That's exactly what Columbia needs to do. Every time there's a loose ball that hits the floor off a rebound, those are the ones that anybody can gobble up. You don't have to be positioning. You don't have to really go after it up high. Smith finding his way to the basket uncontested and puts it in. He now has 16. Yeah, he had a nice first half, 6 of 8 from the floor. So he comes right back out. He's challenging and really going after it. I'd like to see if Nate Hickman can get on track for them, too. It's 0 for 4. A guy came in averaging 19 points a game. And Rodriguez baseline scored in the foul. Rodriguez is really playing some smart basketball. You know, there's a time when you try to overdo things, and he's not right now. Just seeing he's a, a lefty goes along the right side of the baseline because defensively, now all of a sudden they jump at the wrong time to try to take his left hand away. Big fella gets caught napping, going leaning towards the other end of the floor. And, Beautiful baseline drive. Luke Petrosic picks up the foul, his first. So Rodriguez attempting to convert the three-point play. And his free throw is good. You know, with Petrosic that time, you know, Rich, it's number one that you're leaning in the wrong way. Then number two, what that forces you to do is reach back to try to get yourself in position. Generally, when you're out of position, you try to move your hands rather than your feet, and they pick up the foul. Hickman, as you mentioned, Jim has been very quiet so far tonight. No points so far. There's an open shot there. He turned away from it. Oh. An attempt off the mark, and Sonogo pulls it down. I think Seton Hall knows he was scoring 19 a game coming in. They're finding him on the perimeter big time, Hickman. They read the scouting report. Well done by Kevin Willard and his staff. Sonogo in the high post, down low, Delgado with Hickman on him. And nice job by Hickman to do his best to tie him up, but to no avail, he picks up the foul. And yeah, that's where that strength comes in again. Just a size advantage to the big guy, 6'10", 240. He gets Hickman down at 6'4". He's listed at 175. Hickman was had the ball the first second or so, but just couldn't hang in there strength-wise. And that one comes up short for Angel Delgado. If there is one flaw in his game so far, it's yep. the fact that he's 50% from the free throw line. And that's one thing that he can improve. You just got to get there between classes, stay before and after practice. 0 for 2 is Petrosa comes down with it. Because a guy who rebounds the basketball as well as he does, especially obviously on the offensive end of the floor, he's going to get hammered and get to the line a lot. He's improved so much with each passing season, Big East Rookie of the Year. Is that why that time he stops the crossing. Here's Hickman from three, and finally his first points of the game come almost two minutes into the second half. He came in averaging 19 a game. And half the bench got up also watching that shot, waiting for it. Carrington gets the step inside for Delgado. He lost it. Good effort there by Hickman. First guy on the floor for Columbia. Terrific effort. That caused the jump ball out of the, uh, the tie-up, I should say. Going old, old school on you there with the <laughs> jump ball. Throw it up. Let's go. The ultimate possession goes to Columbia, which is down by eight. A little more than two minutes gone by in this second half. Kevin Willard, the Big East Co-Coach of the Year last year, leading the Pirates to 25 wins and their first Big East Championship since 1993. The thing I like about Columbia is just because they're playing up in a, in a different league from the Ivy to the Big East, not stepping away in terms of being intimidated. Nice pass inside. Unfortunately, Meisner couldn't hang on. Here comes Rodriguez finding Delgado the pass too hard. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You know, you come down, you have to recognize who's going to try to catch the ball on the fly. A 6'10 guy. I, I know that you want to get it there quickly, and that means you usually pass it faster, but you have to understand on the fly. I could just, move, like, almost float that over to him. Smith from three. He was fouled, though. Carrington got a piece of him. So it'll be three free throws for the freshman Mike Smith. He's a very good free throw shooter, too, coming in at 87% in the early part of the season. Well, it's interesting because coming in, Jim Engels told us that you know, he was a guy that still needed to find his offensive stroke a little more. It was a little too deferential. He's been more aggressive tonight, and it has paid off so far. 
Smith having a tremendous game. He has 17. You know, with, the, with the aggressiveness that he started with, all of a sudden, you know, a young player in particular, Rich, what happens is you start out being aggressive. Sometimes in previous games, maybe you make mistakes, but on a night like tonight, you're aggressive. The ball starts to go in, and that aggressiveness now all of a sudden turns into aggressiveness slash confidence. And so it's that can be lethal on a basketball court if you get playing against guys who are aggressive and confident at the same time. Smith with the free throws makes it a five-point game in the Lions with a six-nothing run right here. Yeah, remember these guards, you know, Carrington in particular, defensively are pretty good defenders, especially on the point. We're taking a look at that zone again. Delgado on the high post. Kobe knocked it away. And Rodney Hunter going to the floor. Did he call for time? And he does get the call. I think, so. I think Kobe called the time, didn't he? One of them did. Yeah. I, I think he was trying to help out Hunter, who was looking <laughs> He was it. laying there waiting for somebody to come over to him. He was looking around for a ref for anybody. Okay, so there's the ball. He's sitting there. He's waiting for somebody to help him out. It's just Rodriguez. Yeah, that gets called by Kobe. Now get 50% off all Domino's pizzas when you order online. 50% off sausage pizzas, handmade pan pizzas, even barbecue banana pepper pizzas. If you're into that, for a limited time only, get 50% off the menu price of 34 million pizza combinations at Domino's.com. Y'all can't stink in playoffs. Y'all can't stink in division. Nobody catches both. Your can stink in Houston. Don't jinx it. Your can is Houston. Got the food, got the fat head. Now we're ready for the game. He's a beast. It's big. I put it up and the room was done. I give you this one for him. I am blown away with how detailed this fat head is. Unbelievable. It's huge. Go, go, go. It's so cool. It's absolutely perfect! Whoa! I love it! This one is mine. Get your own fat head. Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every what? one of those moments, there's one of these. Is this my car? This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Ah! <laughs> From car insurance to car loans, State Farm is here to help life go right. Give your home the gift of huge holiday deals right now at Lowe's. Like this DeWalt 20-volt max cordless combo kit for only $199. Plus, get this Porter Cable 20-volt max cordless combo kit for only $99. Save on everything you need to make your home happy at Lowe's. One test drive in a Mazda 6 gives one vet a new friend. One ride in a Mazda 3 delivers one hot meal to someone in need. Test drive any Mazda during the Drive for Good event and we'll give back one hour of our time to local causes. Then we'll donate to St. Jude or a charity you choose when you buy any new Mazda. Because driving matters most when you're driving for good. This weekend we pay tribute to the events at Pearl Harbor 75 years ago and honor those who selflessly serve our country. Fox Sports is proud to support merging vets and players and its mission of ensuring our nation's warriors can be as productive off the field as they were on it by joining combat veterans with elite athletes to form a common bond over dedication and teamwork. Visit Fox Sports, FoxSportsSupports.com to learn more. Seton Hall by five, and right after this one, the Pirates on an early morning flight to Hawaii for the Fox Sports Pearl Harbor Invitational, where they'll face Hawaii and Cal. Squeezing that all in before December 28th when they play at Creighton in their first Big East game. Kobe taking Delgado the way off, and Sonogo the rebound. Here comes Carrington with the Pirates up by five. A little more than three minutes gone by second half. And that pass deflected, but finds the hands of power. Here's Carrington, rather Rodriguez for three. And it's off the mark, and that one's going to get called on Delgado. You know, Columbia started to do just a little bit and recognize certain shooters from the outside. Right now, Rodriguez is one of them. Don't let him drive. He's been successful driving to the basket. Give that shot up. And that one's going the other way because of Delgado. The push off. So Columbia with a chance to cut it to three and perhaps two as Hickman over Rodriguez and that one off the end of the rim and out and it'll go the other way. Remember Hickman hit that last shot. Had been very slow in that first half where he wasn't effective at all. 
A little delayed screen coming to the top. So that one, in my eye, to him watching him shoot it, I think he thought that was going in. Seton Hall led by 10 at the break, but they've gone scoreless for three minutes now. And it's down to five. There's Carrington. Powell trying to take Hunter. Back to the matchup with a little double teaming on Delgado. Inside out, and Powell drains the three. So that's the guy you got to find, though, right? You leave Rodriguez, but you don't double down. And that was good coaching by Kevin Rowan. Get Powell on that side of the floor. If Delgado catches the ball, then make sure he's patient. He's been rushing into some of his action when he's double teamed. Good patience that trip. Hickman forcing it right there, doesn't get it to go, and Sonogo rips it down, and he's fouled. A little frustration foul for Hickman. Where it was. Seton Hall trying to figure out this matchup defense that Columbia's thrown him. There's the patience by the big fella kicking it out. The Powell giving him a little breathing room on the scoreboard. Up eight. The Big 12 title is on the line on Fox. The Bedlam series has never meant so much. The inside When Baker Mayfield and the Sooners battle Mason Rudolph and the Cowboys, who will rise up and take the conference crown? Saturday, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, at noon Eastern on Fox. These two could be a problem. They're going down. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. These two could be a problem. They're going oh. down. Talk to an agent for help combining your home and auto into a plan that's right for you. Here to help life go right. State Farm. Rated M for mature. There are those who love sriracha and those who haven't tried it. And for a limited time, Wendy's Bacon Sriracha Fries are the perfect introduction. Sriracha infused aioli and applewood smoked bacon, all for $1.99. And at Wendy's, there's more Sriracha to come. Whether you're wearing layers, beads, stripes, or cheese, if you bleed blue, black and yellow, purple, or various shades of red, this is your beer. You guys have a chance to be part of the greatness. The greatness of Madison Square Garden, but most importantly, we have a chance to be part of the greatness of this conference. The best basketball conference in the country, bar none. That's why we came here, to be part of this conference. Now you've worked hard, you've given yourself the chance to go out there and be part of that greatness. Let's go. The Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden. Get tickets now. Big East Champion. FS1 proudly presents a college basketball event like no other. Cal, Princeton, Seton Hall, Hawaii, in the Pearl Harbor Invitational, Tuesday at 6.30 Eastern on FS1. Seton Hall. Seton Hall with an eight-point lead over Columbia. And Jim, they call him Duncan Desi, but they may want to call him Defense Desi. Desi Rodriguez so far with six steals tonight to go along with his 13 points. Yeah, playing the passing lane well and also triggering some of the offense. And I think he's going to have to make decisions now. It'll be interesting to watch how Columbia plays him. Are they going to give him that outside shot from 15, 17 feet away? And if they do, he has to be ready to shoot it with confidence. If not, make the pass. Sometimes go baseline again as he did a few moments ago. Rodriguez, two steals shy, Jim, of the Seton Hall record for steals in a game. Of his eight, but on three different occasions most recently by Fuquan Edwin, and Harrington gets the roll. Going up that imaginary ladder just then, under control, too. So important if you're going to try that shot to make sure you do it with control. He had the option to pass and also had the option to shoot. Hunter, and had that one deflected away, and it will stay Columbia basketball. So take a look, strong guy going to the left again to his strong hand. He looks off Delgado. Defender slides back. Kobe slides back. The big fella to help with uh, Delgado and boom. That's when the guard has to make your decision. But you're under control, so it's an easier one. Smith has slowed down, but that was to be expected considering how hot he was. And he hoists this one. And on cue, <laughs> to say to the announcer, take uh, that. I love it when they go after the play-by-play -play guys. 22 for Mike Smith. 8 of 10 from the field. Uh, every time that you think Seton Hall is going to stretch the lead just a touch, somebody's different. Smith doing it mostly for Columbia stepping up. Powell.
Powell at the other end. Boy, he has been terrific. Five three-pointers on the night. And the lead just like that back up to 10. Positions his feet very, very well for the catch. When he catches it, he's ready to roll. The lead back up to 10. Jim Engels calls for time. Whether you're wearing layers, beads, stripes, or cheese. If you bleed blue, black and yellow, purple, or various shades of red, this is your beer. Two pizzas and sticks, throw a cookie in the mix. Every year I need my triple treat fix. So, wait, is that a hot oven? I didn't get to sing about the chance to win an Xbox One S. The triple treat box. Because no one on pizza's the hut. The Miles Powell three-pointer makes it Seton Hall 58 and Columbia 48. Powell five for seven from the field, all from three-point range so far. With 15 so far in this game for Seton Hall. Meisner, Petrosic, he takes it at Delgado, throws it up. Not necessarily by design, but it goes down see, nonetheless. You see Delgado's face just then shaking his head. How'd that go in? Here's Delgado at the other end, and Petrosic gets him. Well, to give Delgado a little credit, you know, he goes from the defensive end. Well, here's Delgado getting defensively and a little push shot. He's right. I wonder how that did go in. I don't know. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to figure that out, but I'm not sure how he did it. But Delgado runs the floor nicely after that shot was made at his expense. And he knocks down the first. You watch him shoot free throws, Rich. I mean, without getting too crazy and analytical on it, his shot is not a 60% shooter's shot when you watch it. He squares himself, nice release, the rotation on the basketball. I think it just comes down to concentration. You know, especially at the end of the game, sometimes when guys are, you know, struggling because they're, they're working the whole way. The cross had it stripped by Sonogo. He's called for the foul. So how did that ball come from outside left, way to our right? And you know what, though? Good call. Real good call. Got him on the hand. It's the crossing. We go to the free throw line. Evan Burrows was over by where Jim Engels is standing. If you can see him on off the court there as the coach. And the official had that angle looking through the lane right in front of Jim. And you know what? As we just saw in the replay, that was a heck of a call, even though the people behind us who had the wrong angle <laughs> didn't agree with the, the officiating on that one. Petrosic now 19 of 21 on the season from the line. Columbia has hit all 10 of its free throws, and one reason they're still in this game, down by just eight, 60 to 52. And here's the zone. Of course, Seton Hall has the zone buster and Powell. Five for seven, six for eight, and he'll go to the line for a four-point play. Maybe and one is right. Now, see, that's just not understanding personnel on the floor. As you just, just mentioned, he's ripping it apart from the outside. And so I can see if you're going to double-team the post, but don't double-team the post with the guy from his wing, recognizing that somebody else has to go. Good teams and good guys who understand in Seton Hall, you know, 23 turnovers the last, this is that four-point play, 23 turnovers the last time out, only five assists. Doing a better job of passing the basketball and looking for one another. I mean, Columbia has to make very good decisions. When you have Powell hitting the way he has been from three-point range, that'll certainly open up some space on the floor. He goes for six and last game from the three-point strike. So the up and down struggles of a young guy on the floor, but Tonight, I'd say he's shooting like he knows how to shoot. And that ankle injury, which hampered him the last three games, certainly not doing so tonight, as he's had his feet under him, and he's, his stroke has looked very good. Carrington using the screen from Anthony. Here's Powell again from three, and hits! Seven of nine from three-point range for Miles Powell, the freshman. Right. Yeah, there's the timeout. I thought he called timeout. Yeah, he did. From Columbia's standpoint, they called a timeout. You have to make an adjustment now. You may have to, if you're going to play your zone, you may have to turn this into almost a box in one, meaning 
four guys in his zone, one guy playing man-to-man -to, -man to keep the ball out of his hands. So Seton Hall is not only passing the basketball, but they're finding him and finding him in his rhythm. So I, I see going zone, but I also see you have to go man-to-man -man on him when he's around you. Powell now with 21. He is 7 of 9 from the field. His season high, he had 26 in the win over Iowa. But had since struggled, partially because of the ankle injury, but he has caught fire tonight. He was 9 of 14 in that game against Iowa. 8 of 26 since. But tonight, he has been red hot, especially here in the second half. And he is seven for nine from the field. Yeah, let's see if Columbia can take some time off the clock, get to a good set. There's a way go with a lot of motion. See if they can free somebody up to the back to a cut. Smith has an open look for three. One of the few times it didn't go down for him. And here's Madison Jones quickly the other way. Where, where's Powell? That's what I'm worried about from Columbia. And Quint Atlas straight roll <laughs> over him now. <laughs> Finally, they made a decision. Yeah, see, you'll be able to break people down on the dribble. Sonogo from long range, not his shot. And there's Petrosic with the rebound. Yeah, because they're, they're going to start going after Powell defensively. That means the guards on the floor, Carrington in particular, should be able to go by some people. And same with Jones, one on one. Nice pass. Petrosic who slams it down. Yeah, that's what I was looking for in the last set just then. Spread the floor a little bit, take some time off the clock, and get Seton Hall leaning towards half court defensively. Petrosic with 11. It's a 12 point game, 66 54. Jones finding Enze down low, scored at the wall. See how Jones just kind of methodically got by the point out front. The reason he's able to do that is the other guard is out on Powell. He can go one on one. See, Powell's right at the bottom of the screen. Nobody else there to help him at the elbow. Good work in the dish. Is it a force of nature or a sales event? The season of Audi sales event is here. Audi will cover your first month's lease payment on select models during the season of Audi sales event. Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every what? one of those moments, there's one of these. Is this my car? This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Ah! <laughs> From car insurance to car loans, State Farm is here to help life go right. Your can't stink in playoffs. Your can't think in division. Nobody catches ball. Your can't think in Houston. Don't jinx it. Your can is Houston. Insurance does insurance a smarter way, which saves money, like bundling home and auto coverage, which reduces red tape, which saves money. And when they save, you save. That's home and auto insurance for the modern world. Insurance, an Allstate company. Click or call. I can't believe I got all this for just five bucks. I can't believe this blizzard was just an extra buck. I can't believe we got the tree on the car. Believe it. Get a DQ five buck lunch with fries, drink, and upgrade your Sunday to a small candy cane Oreo blizzard for just a buck. Seton Hall has opened up a 14-point lead thanks to the brilliant shooting of the freshman, Miles Powell. Well, we knew scouting report-wise that this kid can really shoot it and fill it up. But he is getting, as you said, Rich, some good lift on the jumper. And he's prepared to catch the ball before his shot. So as the ball's in flight to him, and you don't see this for young players, and Kevin Willard knows this, 
The young guys generally don't set themselves prior to catching the ball. It's usually a catch, and then I gotta set my feet, and now I'm gonna get into my shot, which is very, very slow. You look at him, seven and nine career eye, obviously, for the youngster, but boy, he's ready to rip it. We'll see when he comes back on the floor what Columbia does, but I'm sure nobody on the Columbia team right now is tearing up to <laughs> see him on the bench. Enzi converts the three-point play, and it's a 15-point lead for Seton Hall. And here comes a little pressure from yeah, Joe. We haven't seen this. Changing things up a little. The largest lead of the game so far. Quick off the foot. Officials have done a great job tonight, but they're human too. Here's Rodriguez off the screen, finding Delgado down low. He lost it. Killingsworth the steal. I think when Delgado gets it there, you better go up with it. Adlish with the open look from three, and he knocks it down. And they convert. Good one, two by. Smith pushing the ball up the floor. He's not only scoring for Columbia, he's making some pretty good decisions along the way also. Adlish with eight off the bench. He's two of three from three-point range. The Columbia guards have had a good night so far. Adlish and Smith with two of three from beyond the arc. Enzi couldn't hold that one, but there's Jones over Petrosic. Delgado crash, I should say Rodriguez crashed the boards, and he's into the line. Here's Smith with that just a nice strong delivery. Where does it get the shooter? It gets Adlish right in the chest so he could just take it and go up with it. Good re reaction there by Columbia to come back after the turnover. Jeff Kobe got called for the foul, his third. Here's Rodriguez. <laughs> Came in about 65% from the line. I know it's early, so the numbers of the can be can be misleading, both good and bad. He's coming off his worst game, one for seven, in the loss to Stanford Sunday, and has responded very nicely so far tonight. With 14 points, make it 15 to go along with six steals. And he's been a guy that's developed very, very nicely. Former high school teammate of Isaiah Whitehead. They both came to Seton Hall. And while Whitehead got all the headlines, Rodriguez has put together a nice career so far. Meisner from way out. That one's short. And there's Jones for the rebound. The only good thing about that is Columbia has some balance. Wow, Jones high off the glass and absorbing the contact. With Jones carrying to Powell playing all at once. Pretty good triple, triplets they have there. I think Jones is looking at Powell and saying, hey, I want my starting spot back. <laughs> Does pick up the foul right there, though. And here's Mike Smith, a third on Madison Jones. So Smith, an outstanding free throw shooter, coming in at 87%. Does not get that one to go down. That the first miss of the night from the line for Columbia that hit their previous ten. One for two. 73 58. Pirates on top. Now on the right side of the floor again. Columbia hit the first three-pointer of the game to open up a 3-0 lead, but Seton Hall has led since a 10-point game at the half right now. A 15-point margin for the Pirates. Here's Carrington on the court. So they continue to recognize Powell. Powell went to the left side just then, and that allows Carrington to use his left hand, strong hand, to get a one or two bounce going towards the basket because that places, that spot is vacated because you have the defenders have to go out to Powell. Good execution there by Willard Squad. Carrington in double figures. Here's Smith. Wild shot and can't get enough on that. Columbia has to be careful right now. This is getting away from them a little bit. How do you stop the bleeding? Sometimes you don't. <laughs> when you got talent that you're playing against. Rodriguez, pull up jumper, in and out. But there's Delgado. Delgado using the right hand. Very nicely done. Just has 
and the incredible nose for the basketball. Yeah, it, it's a sense that he has, but you know what he uses well is feet. He uses the feet to really track the basketball after he, he takes a look at it to see where it's going. Here's Hickman, oh. rejected by Rodriguez, and they're going to get Rodriguez on the foul. That's going to be a body foul. Unfortunately, they don't give out whistles to the <laughs> 50 people to behind us and to our right. He went so high. Wow. Well, he gets the body only because he, yeah, I'm not sure he about had gone this. so high. Now, the question, make sure it's on Rodriguez and not on Carrington. Yeah, this is on Rodriguez. That's a tough one for Kevin Rowland in the squad. Hickman hits the first on what has been a very quiet night for the Ivy League player of the week. Came in averaging 19. That's just his third point. Four after the free throw. And, you know, he, he thought he had a layup just then, too. But Rodriguez came a long way from the weak side of the floor to get a, a hand and more than a hand on that ball. 77-60. Columbia very proficient from the line, but right now in a deep hole. Here's Powell back in. Deflection caught by Enzi who gets the roll. Their positioning is very good. That's why they're getting those bounces. Some might say they're getting lucky bounces, but I think the lucky bounces generally are ones that you create. Hickman, quick three. That's way off. Yeah, he's looking for people now coming at him. They set the tone early on him. Sonogo. Carrington working on Adler. Look at all the room in the middle of the floor because of Powell on the right side. Carrington, yeah. the fadeaway is good. That's, that's smart basketball by Carrington. He's going right that time. He did it the other time left, and it's all predicated on where Powell is on the floor. He's just lights out, shooting it from long range. Smith steps back to the three and comes up with nothing. But Kevin Willard, for as great as Carrington has been, so far this year, second leading scorer in the Big East, was hoping that he would gain court awareness and start to pick up where his teammates are, and he certainly has developed that. Yeah, Carrington uses the right hand to come across the lane, gets his jumper off. Give your home the gift of huge holiday deals right now at Lowe's. Like this DeWalt 20-volt max cordless combo kit for only $199. Plus, get this Porter Cable 20-volt max cordless combo kit for only $99. Save on everything you need to make your home happy at Lowe's. I use what's already inside me to reach my goals. So I like when my doctor told me I may reach my blood sugar and A1C goals by activating what's within me. with once weekly Trulicity. Trulicity is not insulin. It helps activate my body to do what it's supposed to do, release its own insulin. Trulicity responds when my blood sugar rises. I take it once a week and it works 24 seven. It comes in an easy to use pen and I may even lose a little weight. Trulicity is a once weekly injectable prescription medicine to improve blood sugar in adults with type two diabetes when used with diet and exercise. Trulicity is not insulin. It should not be the first medicine to treat diabetes or for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not take Trulicity if you or a family member has had medullary thyroid cancer, if you've had multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Trulicity. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as itching, rash, or trouble breathing, a lump or swelling in your neck, or severe pain in your stomach area. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis, which can be fatal. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases your risk for low blood sugar. Common side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, decreased appetite, and indigestion. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may make existing kidney problems worse. With Trulicity, I click to activate what's within me. If you want help improving your A1C and blood sugar numbers with a non-insulin option, click to activate your within. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. Biggie's College Hoops on FS1 is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. And Seton Hall opening it up here in the second half. 
a 19 point 21 point lead. Check that 81 60 right now behind the work of Angel Delgado. He's got a double double for the third time this year. 19 points, 11 rebounds. And an 8 of 11, and most of his damage obviously gets done in the paint area. The catches, the work before, the finishing on the offensive glass. 6'10, 240. He's trimmed himself up in good shape and it's hard, hard to keep up the line. Jim Staff as Mr. Delgado goes to the bench for a breather. He's worked plenty hard tonight and it has certainly produced results. 19 points, 11 boards. As Columbia has gone cold here in the second half and Seat Hall opening it up. Forced to go man to man too right now. Michael Lindsay, who had started the previous two games when Ishmael Sonogo was hurt, came through very nicely, averaging 14 and 10 in those two years. Adlish on the backdoor cut. Yeah, that was their 11th offensive rebound, too, at the Seton Hall end. And nice little set there by Columbia, getting one quickly. They got to shut Seton Hall down now to see if they can get back into this game, make a little run in the next two or three minutes. Rodriguez. To the left hand and off the glass. The power players are too strong. 17 for Desi Rodriguez, who's had a strong night as well at both ends of the floor. Rodriguez all over Hickman. And it just never let Hickman really get on track. Powell's right there. Yep. Here's Petrosic from three. Meisner skies for the rebound and is called for the offensive foul. I believe, yep, 18 fouls on Columbia. Nobody wants to shoot? I'll, I'll go out and shoot. <laughs> I think, yep, Kevin Willard's reminded me. <laughs> I know. I, I know what that rule is. <laughs> we may not know a lot, but we know that rule, right? Yes. <laughs> so a one and one for Sonogo. Seton Hall in the bonus does not get the roll. Hickman and Rodriguez finds him immediately. Hickman able to free himself up, but yeah. too strong. Just not in rhythm. No, not at all. And part of that is you lose a little bit of your confidence, but the other part of that is somebody just took him out of his game this evening, and he's continued it. Rodriguez is doing most of the damage defensively on him. And Jim Engels was saying that Hickman had been playing at an all Ivy League level, but right here he has struggled tonight. Carrington cross court for Rodriguez. And Meisner gets that one. Awesome. Getting the double team down the post, and he loses it. And Sonogo with the steal. Sonogo off to the races. Finds Carrington on the trailer. Nice feed by Ishmael Sonogo for Kadeem Carrington. How about the assist for the big fella? Yeah, the collapse. Oof. Sonogo just missed on that one. Meisner misses the attempt. And there's Sonogo with the rebound. Yeah, four white jerseys underneath. And Kevin Willard puts the brakes on a little bit. He's had an active couple of minutes as Ishmael Sonogo. Just barely getting it across. Carrington, the spin move into the lane and gets the short load of everything going right now for Seton Hall. Columbia looks demoralized. Down 89 62 after trailing by 10 at the half. The Lions have missed six of their last seven, and Meisner stripped. What's happened too is Seton Hall has made some good adjustments in the middle of the paint. Anything that gets dribbled through the lane, they have been all over it. Defense by committee. Carrington with Smith hounding him. Powell, feet set, short. Petrosic with the rebound. He's gonna yank him, huh? Get him off the floor. <laughs> he still gets a, he gets very good looks though. Powell does. Well, that's a key ingredient for the Seton Hall team going forward as Hickman gets the step and hits it off the glass. You know, we talked about the departure of Isaiah Whitehead to the NBA, and, and he's playing major minutes right now for the Nets. You know, who picks up the slack? But, you know, an outside presence was sorely needed for this team, and Powell has given them a huge lift early on. Here's Enzi. Just picking him apart right now. Under control, unselfish basketball. 
Whoa. And the foul that time by Carrington. Good sportsmanship. Yeah. He just wanted to get a substitution there for Kevin Willard. These three guys coming in. Mattis Forbes. Yep. Rasheen Anthony. Madison Jones come back in. Aaron Gordon. Coming in as well. It's a good move by Kevin Willard. And Veer Singh, number 33. He's, you know, his team has shown enough just to live, touch over four minutes to roll. Here's Meisner with some room. And again, the troubles from the outside continue for Columbia. Jones brings it across. Nice crossover move, but lost it. Now recovers and found Veer Singh, but Singh couldn't come up with a pass that was too low. So one of the few things that didn't work for the Seton Hall Pirates in the second half. They currently lead Columbia 91 to 64. The Pirates opening it up after a 10-point halftime advantage. Right now, cruising. On the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor, live from historic Block Arena, FS1 proudly presents a college basketball event like no other. Cal, Princeton, Seton Hall, and Hawaii in the Pearl Harbor Invitational, Tuesday at 6.30 Eastern on FS1. Whether you're wearing layers, beads, stripes, or cheese, if you bleed blue, black and yellow, purple, or various shades of red, this is your beer. Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every what? one of those moments, yeah, there's go. one of these. Is this my car? This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Ah! <laughs> From car insurance to car loans, State Farm is here to help life go right. Hey, Mom. Mom. I met someone. I met someone. I met someone. Match has led to more relationships than any other dating app. Start for free today. Two pizzas and sticks, throw a cookie in the mix. Every year I need my triple treat fix. So, wait, is that a hot oven? I didn't get to sing about the chance to win an Xbox One S. The triple treat box. Because no one on Pizza's the hut. Give your home the gift of huge holiday deals right now at Lowe's. Like 25% off all in-stock Christmas tree ornaments. Plus get 15% off select artificial Christmas specialty trees and wreaths. Save big on everything you need to make your home happy right now at Lowe's. There are those who love sriracha and those who haven't tried it. And for a limited time, Wendy's Bacon Sriracha Fries are the perfect introduction. Sriracha infused aioli and applewood smoked bacon, all for $1.99. And at Wendy's, there's more sriracha to come. Odell Beckham Jr. and the Giants clash with Big Ben and the Steelers. It all begins at 11 Eastern, and don't miss a huge doubleheader on Fox. Well, Seton Hall in rhythm tonight, a 10-point halftime lead. Now 91 to 64, and Kevin Willard emptying his bench. Dalton Sofer coming in. Aaron Gordon, the younger brother of the Rockets, Eric Gordon, Veer Singh, Michael Enzi, and Rashid Anthony. Considering the injuries they've had, as we mentioned, Sonogo battled a shoulder injury, and Miles Powell, an ankle injury. An outstanding chance for Kevin Willard to rest some of his players and get some of his players' experience as well. And of course, Madison Jones didn't start tonight because of the knee injury. And Jeff Kobe. Long rebound comes to Killingsworth. The downside of running on sets, taking time off the clock. And now we get a whistle. Looks like Anthony's going to get called for foul. Seven on C. Hall. Actually, they call, they call it on Gordon. One's called on Gordon. So Jake Kilsworth goes to the free throw line. One on one situation for the Lions, and he knocks it down. Tough night for the Lions, who are coming off a loss to Hofstra on Tuesday. The fall under 500 on the season to three and four. But a spirited effort tonight by Jing Jim Engel's crew. As Killingsworth hits both. So Seton Hall right now cruising, as we mentioned earlier, on a plane to Hawaii tomorrow morning for the Fox Sports Paul Harbor Invitational. But after 
losing two of three at the Advocare Invitational. Nice to come back to a win. Yeah, well, it sure is. It makes traveling a whole lot easier and better. That's for sure. That's obviously a long trip to get ready to play hoops. Gordon short on that one. And run down by Kendall Jackson. Jackson for Killingsworth. It's bottled up. He finds Kobe. He's fouled. Looks like it's going to go on Enzi, and it is. So Jeff Kobe goes to the line. And Pembroke Pines, Florida. It's the first. Just 36% from the line. Look good on that one, Jim. Sure did. Keep the hands following through a little bit better and good results right there. 91 68. Seat Hall exploded in this second half behind the three point shooting of Miles Powell, the freshman. Anthony. And Anthony called for the travel. Powell had gone eight for 26 in the previous three games while battling an angle injury. Came back tonight, seven of 10 from three point range, 21 on the night. That shot looked really pure. Killingsworth working on Singh. Kicks it around. Nice backdoor pass for Adler. There wasn't much room at all for that pass. Yeah. Just done by Kobe. Kobe Terrific. Kobe found the sophomore Adler. 91-70. Under two minutes left in regulation. The Lions led it 3 0. Seaton Hall came quickly back and has led since. With Dalton Soper from three. Looked good, but a little too much. And Kobe with the rebound. Jackson brings it across. Ninety seconds left in regulation. Kobe puts on the moves and flips to Adlish. Kobe working on Sofer gets Anthony up in the air and draws the foul. What I like about Columbia too, even with the different lineup in there, the subs in there, they're still running their sets pretty nicely. You know, as, as if they were the starters and it's a close game. Obviously, this one got away from Jim Angles and company midway through the second half. But good prepar preparation for them getting ready for their season coming up soon. You know, you got to remember, too, they lost this team, did their four top scores from last year, as well as their head coaches. Kyle Smith left and Jim Engels came back after serving as an assistant from 2003 to 2008. So everybody's still figuring everybody out at this point. I think a lot of coaches will tell you, though, their teams will look better in a month from now. Seton Hall waiting for Javon Thomas to become eligible after transferring here. Sink from three. Gordon puts it back in down low. Ron Thomas, the transfer from Kansas State, will be eligible starting December 23rd. Adlish for Jackson, and that one picked off. 40 seconds left in regulation, 93-71. The Pirates in front. Gordon the pull-up, showing the touch from the foul line. So Eric Gordon, back-to-back -back baskets on back-to-back -back possessions. Kobe working on Anthony. And that one, no good. Boy, that has been the story in the second half. Almost seems like Columbia's run out of gas against a stronger, more physical yeah, Seton Hall. I team. think the last part of that comment, stronger and more physical, got to them in the second half. And the fact that Miles Powell was lighting it up all night long. And the Pirates will just let the clock run out. Down to one, and that'll do it as Seton Hall comes back home for its fifth win of the season, knocking off Columbia by a score of 95 to 71, and leading the way was Miles Powell with 21 points on 7 of 10 from the field. Desi Rodriguez also chipping in six steals, and Angel Delgado another double-double as Seton Hall wins easily by 24.
Is it a force of nature or a sales event? The season of Audi sales event is here. Audi will cover your first month's lease payment on select models during the season of Audi sales event. I really did save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with GEICO. I should take a closer look at GEICO. GEICO has a long history of great savings and great service. Over 75 years. Wait, 75 years? That is great. Speaking of great, check out these hot riffs. You like Smash Mouth? Uh, yeah, I have an early day tomorrow, so... Wait, almost there. Good night, Bruce. I gotta tune the A. Me, 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 me. Take a closer look at GEICO. Great savings and a whole lot more. I'm Thomas, and I quit smoking with Chantix. I finally broke out of my man shell, went to the doctor, told him I needed help quitting smoking. He prescribed Chantix, and it worked. Along with support, Chantix Veronicalin is proven to help people quit smoking. Chantix really reduced my urge to smoke. Some people had changes in behavior, thinking or mood, hostility, agitation, depressed mood, and suicidal thoughts or actions while taking or after stopping Chantix. Some reported seizures or sleepwalking with Chantix. If you have any of these, stop Chantix and call your doctor right away. Tell your doctor about any history of mental health problems, which could get worse, or of seizures. Don't take Chantix if you've had a serious allergic or skin reaction to it. If you have these, stop Chantix and call your doctor right away, as some could be life-threatening. Tell your doctor if you have harder blood vessel problems or develop new or worse symptoms. Get medical help right away if you have symptoms of a heart attack or stroke. Decrease alcohol use while taking Chantix. Use caution driving or operating machinery. Most common side effect is nausea. Quitting changed my life. Ask your doctor if Chantix is right for you. Now get 50% off all Domino's pizzas when you order online. 50% off sausage pizzas, handmade pan pizzas, even barbecue banana pepper pizzas. If you're into that, for a limited time only get 50% off the menu price of 34 million pizza combinations at Domino's.com. Watch all your favorite sports live on the go. The NFL, college football, local NBA and NHL games, even Garbage Time with Katie Nolan. All included with your TV subscription. Download the Fox Sports Go app today. That went well. The Big 12 title is on the line on Fox. Baker Mayfield and the Sooners. Mason Rudolph and the Cowboys. Who will rise up and take the conference crown? Saturday, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma. At noon Eastern on Fox. Welcome back to the Prudential Center. Seton Hall, an easy winner over Columbia, 95-71. The Pirates had four players in double figures. One of them, Kadeem Carrington, standing by with Jim Spinarco. Jim? Thanks, Rich. Kadeem, from the standpoint of, you know, the backcourt play, the last game you guys were, had five assists as a team. Tonight you had 20. What was the difference for your squad? Well, first of all, thank God for the win. But um, tonight we just try to play more relaxed. And we try to um, get other guys involved. You know, I've, I've been doing a good job of scoring, but um, the coach told me I need to do a better go job of getting guys involved. So I'll try to do that tonight. So what goes through your mind in terms of from a point guard position or a backcourt position trying to balance that? Because you obviously read defensively the defense that Columbia was playing against. I thought you did a great job of reading them in the second half in particular. I mean, when I'm on the point guard spot, I just try to get more guys involved as opposed to when I'm on the two and coach need me to score. Um, you know, we got great shooters out there. Miles Powell showed a good job uh, um, how he could shoot. And um, we just try to get guys involved, and that's that's what um, all of us did tonight. Well, you had you had Powell shooting the basketball. You did a good job of getting him involved, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. He's a great shooter, um, and I think he's showing the world what he can do. So we're going to need that um, as the season goes along. So Well, you got a long trip. Good luck uh, on your trip out to Hawaii. Thank you. You bet. Let's bring in Coach Willard. Kevin, nice job today. When I look at the uh, the stat sheet, I look at four guys in double figures. That's pretty good balance for your squad. Yeah, we've had good balance all year. And uh, coming off a tough trip in Orlando, we had two really good days of practice where we, I felt we got back a little bit of our tempo on offense. We weren't standing as much going one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and then when they played zone, it kind of gave us a chance to move the ball a little bit. And, uh, guys did a good job of passing it and making good decisions. Well, your backcourt played very well. You know, you had 20 assists tonight, which is distributing the basketball. But you have to comment on Powell and the way he was shooting the basketball for us. Yeah, I mean, you know, that was one of the hard things in Orlando. He sprained his ankle against Florida. And he couldn't really play against Quinnipiac and Stanford. And he's such a weapon for us. He really spaces the floor. People have to know where he is. Every time he shoots it, you think it's going in. So the more we have him on the floor, the more it opens up things for Rodriguez driving or Angel in the post. Well, I wish you and I could shoot the ball with sprained ankles like that at some point. 
I, I could never shoot that. I couldn't shoot it on a Nerf hoop, more or less any hoop. So it's nice having him. He's getting better every day. Well, good luck the rest of the way, and uh, have a safe trip to Hawaii. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, Rich, back to you. Miles Powell leading the way for Seton Hall with 21. And Kadeem Carrington chipping in with 17. And the Pirates win by 24. Two pizzas and sticks, throw a cookie in the mix. Every year I need my triple treat fix. So, wait, is that a hot oven? I didn't get to sing about the chance to win an Xbox One S. The triple treat box. Because no one out pizzas the hut. TMC Sports is now on FS1. TMC Sports, weeknights on FS1. Welcome back to the Prudential Center. Seton Hall picks up its fifth win of the season, 95-71 over Columbia. Rich Ackerman along with Jim Spinarco and a terrific night shooting uh, for the Seton Hall Pirates, particularly in the second half. Yeah, I thought they played very well. I thought they passed the ball particularly well. The first half, I thought they had some trouble with Columbia to give them some credit defensively. I thought Columbia put up a nice first half. They were shooting the ball pretty well. Smith played nicely for them. But then I think in the second half, especially Carrington, not only was Powell shooting the basketball well, but I thought Carrington made some good decisions with the basketball. When Powell was on the wings, he vacated the, the middle of the floor. Carrington took advantage of that. Well, for as good as Carrington has been, we mentioned during the telecast that you know Kevin Willard was hoping that he'd be able to distribute the, more, the ball a little more evenly. And uh, you look at the numbers for Seton Hall tonight. Uh, 29 of 43 from the field from two-point range and 9 of 22 from three-point range. I mean, everything was falling for this team. Yeah, and, and what happened there, too, was, Rich, they were going inside out occasionally. Delgado, I thought, made some good decisions. He had been getting double-teamed in the previous couple of games, and, and the question marks were, well, when you get double-teamed, do you kind of get a little bit more nervous and you pick up your speed because two guys are double-teaming you? I thought when he caught the basketball in the blocks, and he positioned himself very well, put up big numbers. But I thought his decisions with the basketball were very, very good. Well, it was a short stay for Seton Hall at home. They were yeah. in Orlando last week at the Advocare Invitational. And tomorrow morning, they leave for Hawaii for the Fox Sports Pearl Harbor Invitational. They'll face Hawaii in Cal, then South Carolina, Delaware, and wrap up the non-conference schedule against Rutgers at home on the 23rd. I don't know about you, but I don't, never feel sad for anybody going to Hawaii. <laughs> so enjoy the trip. See if Seton Hall can go out there and get a couple of wins. Well, it's going to be a short turnaround as they have a 6 a.m. <laughs> flight, so hopefully they yeah. can uh, step on the plane. Well, it's better, a long trip. Better them than us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, it is a nice trip to go out to Hawaii, and it's certainly it's going to be uh, an historic trip and a learning process right. uh, for the kids playing.